Today we're going to be talking about Super Mario 3D All-Stars because it appears to be potentially on pace to be the fastest selling Nintendo Switch game of all time. I mean, we're talking, you know, Animal Crossing hitting 20 million, something like that. Now, before we get into it, it's appropriate that we have news about this because we are giving away three copies of this game, potentially five. We're also giving away a Switch Lite. Now, to enter these giveaways, because there are two separate giveaways, so we have one giveaway for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, then we have a second giveaway for a Switch Lite, and then two second-place winners get a game of choice for Switch. As I said, so potentially five copies. It'll depend on what the second-place winners choose. Uh, I have to let you know that there's actually one way to enter both instantly and that's if you join our patreon if you go to patreon.com slash nintendo prime for as little as one dollar a month you will get 15 entries into uh, these giveaways in fact i think i might continue the patreon entries for every giveaway so it might be worth checking out there's also other tiers on there beyond the one dollar five dollar twenty dollars get to like on an episode of the podcast so it's just worth checking out in general if you're interested in you know helping out the channel in other ways beyond just some giveaway entries for a dollar now that being said I have other ways to enter the giveaway too. So for the Switch Lite giveaway, you know, yes, I'm giving away a Switch Lite this month. Uh, with two second place winners getting game of choice. You can subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment down below, and then uh, hit the bell icon, all that jazz. Uh, there's also following on Twitter, joining our Discord server. Everything's down in the description for that. Uh, to enter for the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game, be, uh, three, three game giveaway, be on joining our Patreon. You can also hit the gleam.io link. So there are two separate giveaways happening simultaneously this month. Over $500 worth of stuff when you include shipping. Pretty crazy. Let's get into the news. Now, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is currently, believe it or not, the second best-selling game on Amazon U.S., for the entire year. This includes pre-orders. This includes games already out. Animal Crossing, as an example, New Horizons, is the number one selling game on Amazon. It's also the fastest selling game. And this includes not only the pre-orders for it, but all of the sales since. Yeah, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is at number two after only being available to pre-order for four days. And it's still taking pre-orders. And yes, could easily end up at number one by the time the game launches. Gosh, what are we? 11 days away, about a week and a half away from the game launching. So by the time it comes out, it might already be the fastest selling game. Now, there are a lot of factors to, that are obviously in play with this. Um, first off is the idea that the game's only going to be available to March 31st. So there's a lot of this buy now mentality with this game where the entire audience that might exist for this game could literally end up purchasing this game within the first month. Because again, there's going to be a scarcity for it. It's going to be hard to get. We already know Nintendo's had shortages with game cartridges and consoles, even though they're caught up now. Who knows if they're going to stay caught up with holidays around the corner. Uh, yeah, the digital version will obviously do what it's going to do. I mean, remember, these pre-orders do not include pre you know digital pre-orders, uh, which happen through the eShop. These are only including physical sales. So, yeah, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is about to blow the hell up. Now, for context, for context... And like the first few weeks, Animal Crossing was on store shelves, or maybe it was like launch week. It sold like 12 or 13 million. It was insane. Over 20 million now. So it, it, it's pretty crazy to think about what that game did at launch and that how this game could top that. Are we looking at 15 million? Now, obviously, uh, this just speaks about U.S. sales, uh, not the total 15 million. That's for everything. But let's actually take a look at the article on Nintendo Life because it talks, it, it, it kind of dabbles, I guess, on. Um, some other areas as well, other parts of the country, and how well it's doing there pre-order-wise. So uh, let's take a look here. Now, as you're uh, seeing here, um, you know the game was announced last Thursday, four days uh, before the article went live. It's the second best-selling uh, game of 2020 at Amazon. So we'll open we'll open that up uh, as well to take a look at it. Um, but it means that on Amazon, at least the game has outsold The Last of Us 2, Paper Mario the Origami King, as well as beating Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Obviously, Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. Uh, Amazon UK site, it's already the seventh best-selling game of the year. So we'll, we'll open that up as well. Uh, Animal Crossing tops that list um, two, with The Last of Us 2 and Minecraft close behind. So let's let's just take a look at those listings. So um, 
these are these are best selling uh, of so far. So obviously you see Animal Crossing here as the number one game, but then you kind of dabble down here, dabble down here, dabble down here, and there it is at number fourteen. Obviously you're going to see gaming related stuff, you know, in, in between. Interestingly enough, with all the Switch sales, you got the the tempered glass protector, but yeah, like there it is at number fourteen, beating out Mario Kart Eight and, and stuff like that. Uh, beating out the Nintendo Switch itself, the Red Box version, anyways. Of course, there's a, multiple versions of Switch, so all all combined, it probably uh, has outsold that. So this is Amazon UK. As you see, number three, and then uh, scrolling on down, uh, where is it? The Last of Us Two. Oh yeah, it's, it's number seven on this list. So. Here's Amazon UK. There's Animal Crossing at number one. Uh, then you have Last of Us Part Two. Uh, then you have um, Minecraft, Mario Kart Eight. Uh, let's see here, Pokemon Sword at number five. Uh, looks like Just Dance at number six. And then there's Super Mario All Stars at number seven. So all of this I find to be completely fascinating because Super Mario 3D All-Stars, I have criticisms of the game. In fact, if you go look at our latest episode on the Nintendo Prime podcast, linked up here or down in the description, I guess now that I mentioned it, uh, you'll see that I honestly kind of think it's a little bit of a lazy job by Nintendo. They just, like, emulator HD did. They didn't really do anything fancy or put any work in it. There's no extra content uh, they mess with the controls a little bit, you know, to make it work. Obviously, they don't have to change all flood works and all that. But uh, I, they're just HD versions of the game. But here's the thing. Nintendo's got me, too. Because I'm going to end up buying it because it's the highest resolution officially supported by Nintendo. 1080p with with the, with the uh, Sunshine and Galaxy. 720p, even in 4.3 uh, with, you know, Mario 64. They're the highest official resolution versions of the game. So... I'm going to end up buying it. It doesn't mean that it's that great of a value, uh, but it's also the celebration of Mario's 35th anniversary. It is the only thing besides Mario 35 that you can play for free uh, game wise. That's officially being like a 35th anniversary game because uh, new super Mario brothers, uh, you, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, Super Mario 3D World uh, plus Bowser's fury coming next year. Well, you know, they're, they're tying that into the 35th anniversary Let's just be honest. It's just another port like New Super Mario Bros. U, but with new content. That's really, really cool, and I'm really excited for it. In fact, it's the thing I'm most excited for, besides potentially that Mario Kart home tour live thing. That thing looks really cool. Uh, but in terms of, like, standard video games, it's the one I'm looking forward to most because it includes new content. Uh, but, again, that, that, that probably was going to exist regardless of the 35th anniversary. It's potential this collection, this 3D All-Stars, might not be here if it wasn't the 35th anniversary of Mario. So there's just a lot uh, to look at this as. You're buying it for the box art. You're buying it for the cartridge that, that has 35th anniversary on it. You're buying it because these are three really, really, really good Mario games. I mean, these are some of the best plat 3D platforming games of all time. Can we just say that? You know, I know there's been some jokes out there. Oh, it's two of the best plus Sunshine. Sunshine's fantastic. I don't think it ever got a fair shake back in the day. And I'm really happy that I was going to be tens if not 20 plus million people getting to enjoy that and that's the crazy thing we're talking about when we're talking about a game competing up there with animal crossing in the u.s and we'll see what what it, what it does in japan uh when we're talking about it competing with animal crossing we're talking about record setting sales this game is tickling um all the right juices for nintendo uh, right now one it's a limited edition so you can only buy it for a short amount of time i honestly think they're going to make it available for more than that but and neither here nor they're officially only available to March 31st of next year. So there's like this limited time span to buy as many copies as you want. We've already seen scalpers listing them up before they even have the game. Um, I I don't know if it's going to be that difficult to get at first, but you know it, it, the value of it should go up if Nintendo really does cut it off on March 31st. Uh, beyond that, we know uh, that these are three of the best Mario games of all time. It's going to itch that nostalgia factor, you know, with Galaxy. And, and, and Sunshine and Mario 64, lots of nostalgia there. Lots of people wanting to go back and replay these games in HD or have them to go on their Switch officially. Uh, and some of the games in, in the Galaxy have never been re-released. I don't think Sunshine's been re-released either. So there you go. Mario 64 has been brought several times on Virtual Console, but those two games haven't been re-released, let alone in HD. And then two, people who played Mario Odyssey. Remember, Mario Odyssey sold 18 million copies. 18 plus million. It's probably going to cross 20. It is by far and away one of the best selling 3D Mario platforming games of all time. 
Some of these games did not sell that kind of crazy numbers, which means sunshine, <coughs> uh, which means, but for many Mario fans, this will be their first time playing these games. And they're the next 3D Mario games coming to the platform. So there you go. Uh, it's got that triple whammy going on of nostalgia, plus like new uh, fans that haven't played the games, plus limited uh, and the 35th anniversary, if you want to throw that on top. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Are you planning to get it? Are you just hoping to win the giveaway? What's going on? This is getting crazy around here. I'm excited for them, but also kind of like wishing they did more. Maybe it's just because we've known about it all year. I don't know. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.